In this tutorial, we will learn how to easily convert a 2D picture like this, into a 3D mesh object in Blender. The easiest and also the traditional way to import an image in Blender is to import as a plane, from file, then import, and then selecting this option. If we import our picture, or Mr. Penguin, in this route, we will get it as a plane object. Let us scale it up by 5 times. Also, rotate it around the z-axis so that it turns towards us. The picture, or the image looks quite good at this stage. But if you try to convert it into 3D, the problem starts. For example, if you add the solidify modifier to make it thick, with a thickness of 0.2, what you get is a disjoint set of two faces, without any material between them. You cannot make a 3D mesh from this. It happens like this because Blender has no information about the actual lines or dots in this image, it simply copied the image as a texture. So, we have to first convert this image into vector graphics. If you have an image editing software, like Photoshop or Illustrator, you can easily convert it into vector graphics image. Otherwise also, there are plenty of options available online to convert an image into vector graphics. Some are paid, and some are free options. I will talk about two free sites. One is png2svg.com. Here you need to upload your picture, select suitable options, and it generates the vector graphics output. Another site is, autotracer.org. This also works in the similar way. I have added these sites in the video description. In case you have a complex picture, you can also go for a third option, Inkscape. You have to download, and install it on your desktop. It comes with many features, like Photoshop, but it is free. You can use it if your picture needs many adjustments. Otherwise, if you have a simple image to convert, the online converters do the job pretty nice. Just select your file to convert, then select the number of colors you need. Remember, a vector image contains one path for each color. So your converted image will have as many paths as the number of colors you set here. Higher values will result in a better color depth, but it will also increase the number of paths in the output image. Let us keep it as 6. Then generate the output file, and save the SVG file to your desktop. The other site, Autotracer, works in the same way. You have to first select your source image. Then select the SVG option. Choose the number of colors you need, you can take 8, or anything else you like. And then click on Start. Whichever software you use, once the image is converted into vector graphics, you need to then import it into Blender. Let us delete this wrong import. Then go to File and Import. This time select this SVG import option, and in place of the plain image, select the vector graphics file that we just saved. Once you import it, you may not be able to see anything, but don't worry, it is successfully imported, but it is by default so small that you cannot see it at all. Let us look at the outliner panel. Here, a new group or collection got added, under which, there are many single paths, which collectively make the vector graphics. Each path represents one color in the image. In order to see them, we have to enlarge them, really high. So press the shift key, and click on the paths to select them together. Now if we enlarge, they will get enlarged together. Press S, then 50, then enter. If you still cannot see it, enlarge it again and again. So, our Mr. Penguin has come back, in another avatar. Let us help him to stand up, by rotating it through 90 degrees, around the x-axis. It is just a flat image, or path, right now. You can see the curve symbols here. While they are all selected, go to the object menu, then convert to, and mesh. Now the triangle symbol appears for them. To join them together, go to the object menu and select join. The penguin is in just one piece now, as a solid mesh. You can rename this to, penguin, if you want. Let us add a floor to this scene, so that we can see it better. So go to add, add a plane, and then enlarge it sufficiently. You can also add a material for the plane, and select any suitable color. If you are not already in the rendered view mode, switch over to the rendered view to see the colors. Let us now add a thickness to this penguin. Select it, go to the modifiers tab, and add a solidify modifier. Use a suitable thickness. You can change the modifier mode to the complex type, which gives us few more options. The boundary can be selected as round. You can remove the offset value. Merge thickness, let us change it to 0.005. 
Nothing specific for these values, you can play with them to discover the best settings for your particular object. Also ensure that you have enough light, maybe a sun in your scene. The image is now truly converted into a mesh object, so you can deform it, or edit it, or apply another material to it, or just do anything that you can normally do with a mesh object. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.